Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is kit of the year season, and I think this is a starter kit, so let's open it up. Keep the address out of the way. This thing is well packed. Let's take a look. All right, here. Feels like a starter kit. Smells like a starter kit. I think it's a starter kit. See which one it is. This is, oh, this is not what I was expecting. This is the JDH Labs Tech kit, and this is very, very cool. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Let's get this out of the way. What makes this kit different is that it's a $42 Arduino starter kit with a bunch of parts in the box, but it is the parts that they chose. And so let's open it up. Okay, so right off the bat, let's see what's in this little thingy here. We have a, looks like a relay. Yeah, we have a relay and I do appreciate uh, some of the starter kits, especially in this price range, only include the relay module. Now that does not look like it's opto coupled, but uh, this is a relay that is already configured with LEDs, with the pins on there, with screw terminals and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's not just the bare relay module that comes in a lot of starter kits. I'd like to see it be opto coupled, but for uh, for the price, I think this is cool. It's your standard 10, 15 amp uh, relay. So we have some components in here. A looks like an IR receiver. An IR sending LED, a photo resistor, it looks like maybe a transistor. Uh, we have, that's like a tilt switch, or a little tilt switch right there. Uh, and a few little just discrete components. As I mentioned, we have the breadboard power adapter that will allow you to put either 5 volts or 3.3 volts on your breadboard power it with 7 to 12 volts, which is pretty cool. You have a few of the standard uh dupont cables which i do appreciate i don't know that i've ever seen another starter kit maybe the big uh goliath one but this includes female to female male to male and uh male to female so all three types are there we have our breadboard in a retail package now none of this is branded and i don't really expect any of it to be branded like the elegu kit or something like that but this is your typical 870 is it 870 point breadboard something like that 840 somewhere in that range uh, but your typical larger size breadboard and uh, let's set this off to the side we have uh, some RG so we have some yellow green and red LEDs and we have some tricolor LEDs nice that's oh, oh there's a couple so Let's see, these could either be white or they could be possibly multicolor flashing LEDs. So we'll set those off to the side, take a look at those too. Um, all right, let's start pulling stuff out here. So we have the, uh, it's kind of funny because I, I just said that every single uh, starter kit just includes this bare relay module. Well, most starter kits include these DHT22s. They call this an AM2302, but it's a temperature sensor. And uh, usually these come on some kind of backpack and this one does not. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> they give it and they take it away. This is your typical HC05 Bluetooth module. The thing I like about this one is that it can be plugged in to, uh, into serial and just basically take whatever was coming out of the serial port of your Arduino and blast it over Bluetooth to a phone or something like that. So very cool. These are usually only included in like robot kits and stuff like that. It's pretty rare to see them in a, a normal starter kit. So that's a nice touch. Um, <clears throat> this is a prototyping shield and you've seen these a bunch of times on my channel. Uh, these, this one is made for an Uno with your typical uh, peel and stick shield or peel and stick breadboard that can go on top of it. Uh, oh, hey. It's got some, that's that's a nice touch. It's got some LEDs. It has a S1, this little uh, an extra switch here, a reset switch. Uh, yeah, that's cool. So a little bit a little bit different of a take. And some of these pins are connected, which is kind of nice. A little bit different take on a on a prototyping shield. So cool. And in here we have the full size Wemos D1, which I love. So 
for those of you who don't know, this uh, is an ESP8266 board, which that's a that's very weirdly lasered up there. That's, that's high contrast lasering on that thing. But uh, this Wemos D1 clone board, it actually says powered by Wemos.cc, so it could could be original. Um, but the idea with these are they're ESP8266 boards with the USB uh, built in and in an Arduino form factor. Now, the Arduino form factor is almost a little scary on these because these are 3 volt devices as opposed to the Arduino Uno, which is a 5 volt device. So most of the time, you probably don't want to sit there and pop a shield on top of this thing. Uh, but what I like about these is if you were to buy the Wemos D1 Mini, then they don't come with soldered pin headers. But other than that, they are identical in terms of your code. So what I love to do is I do all my prototyping on a full-size D1. And then when I go to put it into a project, I can literally just swap it over to the D1 Mini and take the same exact code and it works without changing anything. So that's fantastic. Again, you are never going to see this in a starter kit at this price point, uh, especially when you consider the rest of the things that are included. So you'll see here that we have two of your standard A to B USB cables, the standard blue ones. We have a pack of quarter watt resistors here, and they are in, uh, let's see here, they are in about 10 a piece. And I am not seeing values written on them, which is kind of interesting. So you will need to read your color codes or get a multimeter or something like that. I'm guessing that these were part of 100 packs. And so if you happen to get lucky where you're on a spot that, uh, that they would include <laughs> the writing on there. But otherwise, you are on your own to figure out what uh, these resistors are. About 10 a piece. And let's just count here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 values. So about 10 resistors, quarter watt in 13 values. Uh, as you can see, there's some other stuff here that you're not going to find in a $40 starter kit. One of my favorite shields of all time, the Arduino Shield Hall of Fame, is this uh, this little multifunction shield here. You've got a buzzer, you've got a little potentiometer, you've got three buttons. Uh, there's this uh, Bluetooth voice recognition module connector here. Uh, you have these four displays, a reset button. Uh, what is this thing here? This is for the DS18B20. There's some uh, some breakouts of power ground and some of your pins. Very, very cool. Like nobody includes this type of thing in a, in an Arduino starter kit, especially at this price point. So you, rather than sitting there and hooking up the seven segment displays manually, you've got you've got them hooked up. You can find code and all that stuff. So very, very cool again at this price point. Uh, let's take a look at this. Another thing I haven't seen in any starter kit at any price point, including the big Goliath one, is a 2.4 inch UNO LCD display with touch. Where are you gonna find this in a $40 starter kit? So you have the, uh, what did they say it was? 320 by 240? Uh, yeah, 320 by 240 driven by the ILI 9341 8-bit with touch and it is in the Arduino shield form factor with the SD card slot and a stylus. So very, very cool. And then is that just, I'm trying to figure out that. So interesting. So these little uh, home and, you know, all these little email logo and all that stuff is emblazoned on the glass itself. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Speaking of displays, we have another one of my Arduino shield hall of fame entrance and that is this uh 16 by 2 lcd shield by they call it robot i think d1 robot i always thought it was df robot but you've got your select left right up down reset as well as um a 16 by 2 lcd and it just pops right on here with a with a shield got a bent pin uh, i don't know if i should blame they packed it really well so i don't really know how that happened uh, i think it was wrapped and wrapped and wrapped but very, very cool. Got your 16 by 2 LCD shield. And look at this. Is that genuine? Hold on. 
You have, it can't be, no, it can't be. Okay, so you have, I've never seen this. I, I've, I've opened a hundred Arduino starter kits. I've never seen this. This is a full-size mega, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess clone. Uh, let's see here. Zero carbon footprint, Impato Zero, ROMs compliant, open source electronics, designed in Italy. I don't know. Um, but this is a, uh, a Mega 2560, which is my favorite Arduino board, hands down, and it comes in a case. I've never even owned a case for one of these things. Uh, and it's, it's got a case that has uh, some ventilation, but also has these little plus things, so you can use screws and, and mount it on the wall. So, fantastic. In a $40 starter kit. And look at this. We have an Uno with the same graphics on the back. And uh, I don't know if it's from the Arduino Corporation. I would guess not. But uh, we have, that's a little, little bit of a scratch there. Uh, but we have an Uno with the full removable dip, which I like that, in a case. Never seen that. And last but not least, we have another prototyping shield here. It looks like a prototyping shield. So, yep, a bigger version of the one that I already pulled out over here. Uh, no LEDs on this one. Another one of these little peel and stick uh, prototyping shields. And, uh, yeah, so that is the bulk of what's in here. Let me get a battery for a second. Okay, so these are just little uh, standard white, kind of a cool white, soft white. I don't know, it probably doesn't look very soft from where you're at, but... Uh, soft white LED. They're not any kind of color shifting LED or anything like that. So we've got uh, red, green, yellow, white, and then these three color LEDs included in the kit. So this is normally the part of the review where I would talk about the software that's included and the example code and maybe pop in the CD and look and see what's on it and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to do that in this review. And the reason why is because there is none. There's none. And they are not even ashamed about that. JDH Labs is a company that sells test equipment and all kinds of other things. They are not Elegoo. They are not uh, primarily in the business of selling this kind of starter kit that you would just hand off to a 13 year old and tell them to have at it. The, they're just unabashedly, they're like, hey, if you're gonna be in this, you're gonna spend half your time Googling and going to Facebook groups, so just get started that way. Google the name of the shield and there will be a million tutorials coming up. Go to random nerd tutorials and look it up and have fun with it. And again, you know, there's part of me that has, you know, some respect for that. Uh, this kit is a ton of value for the money. Uh, you will typically in a $40 kit, you'll get, maybe you'll get a mega. Um, usually you'll get an Uno and you'll get more sensors than what you got here, but you're never going to get cases. You're never going to get LCD screens. You're never going to get shields. You're never going to get a Wiimos. You're rarely going to get a Bluetooth board and all that stuff. So this is one of the most unique kits on the market. And it is up for a Kit of the Year award, and you are going to have a say in that. So stay tuned to this channel. Stay tuned to the Facebook group where you're going to have an opportunity to give your opinion on the Kit of the Year for 2021. Have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching.